All right, lads, BSBR here, Big Sip Beer Review. And today we're going to look at a double IPA from Buxton Brewery, and it's their King Slayer. I picked this up in Tesco's, and it's part of the new range. I know it's been out a couple of um, couple of weeks or maybe a couple of months, but I've, this is the first time I've seen it in my local Tesco's down here in South Wales. So I thought I'd pick it up to review. Um, it's a double IPA, it's 8%, and it's not much on the can to go through. Except, nice little dragon there. <sighs> We must have a blood. We must have bloody noses and cracked crowns. See base of can for the rest. For the best before date. God, alive! My eyes are terrible. Canned on the twenty fourth of May. Best before the twenty fourth of May, two thousand twenty one. Ah, I'm doing a lot of IPAs lately, aren't I? <laughs> it's part of the beer range, so I just quickly grabbed them all. So I just check a few reviews in. This will be my second upload of the day, but I did upload um, something the other day and I took it off because it asked me for a load of settings and people who haven't verified their age couldn't watch it. So I took it off and reposted it today. So um, this will be my second upload. So I haven't reviewed two today. <laughs> yeah, this is coming from Buxton Brewery and I'm pretty sure that's up in the Midlands way of England. And the smell, oh, beautiful, fruity as you like, pineapple, orange, slight hint of mango, oh, that smells lovely, that does smell lovely. So we are <laughs> really, really hazy in colour with orangey, yeah, like orange haze, you obviously picked that up on camera. <coughs> yep, eight percent in volume as well, as I think I've said at the start. Chin chin, old buddy, let's have a go. <sighs> Sorry, that is. <coughs> It's pretty similar to the smell I picked up. Fruity as you like. You've got your passion fruit. You've got your pineapples. It's like ultra fruit, ultra, ultra fruity. <coughs> got a really, really thin mouthfeel, which, like I've said before, like craft IPAs, they could be dangerous as hell because they go down so easy and they percent in volume. So you could have like, you could chuck three of them into you in quite quick concession. Boom, boom, boom in the sun. Quite thirsty. <clears throat> Pardon me. And you drink, you just drunk three 8% eight, 8 cans in a matter of no time. They're quite dangerous. <laughs> Imagine session on a... Oof, do silly things to you. <sighs> yeah, it's fruit as you like. You've got orange, you've got your passion fruit. And... Hint of mango, I think. Yeah, you've got a little slight bit of mango I can pick up. Um, it's slightly bitter on the back end, but not too much. It's, it's only slightly. It's drinkable. Oh, God, love, yeah. It is really, really drinkable. We're middle of the whoop, point even. We're middle of the September right now, and we haven't quite good weather, so I've just been out the back garden. The sun blasted on me. I was thinking, oh, I'm quite dehydrated, so I just come in to review this. Quite dangerous, like I said. You could just boof, 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 and we're only a couple of minutes in now, and I'm nearly done. <laughs> yeah, so you just basically it's a lovely fruity double IPA coming at eight percent, which <laughs> you can bolt pretty damn easy. So um. 8% as well. I can't feel any any warmth yet going down my chest, showing 8%. So 
So let's have a look at the big zip bolt and ability. That's gorgeous, that is. That's really, really gorgeous. What was going through my mind then when I was doing the big zip bolt is um, if you you're away on holiday and you go you get up in the morning you're in a hotel and you and you're hanging out your ass hangover and you go for the fruit juice and you pick it up and just swig and swig and swig it because you're so dry dehydrated dehydrated sorry combination so that is basically like drinking a fruit juice. I'm going to give it a big sip rate. I'm going to rate that 8.5 out of 10. So I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. I think it's the second drink I've um, I've reviewed from Buxton Brewery. And um, yeah, it's, it's quite a... Um, it's not a bad brewery. I'm going to go on their website again now. I say it's like most of, it, most of the ends of every video now. Just to clarify. I'm going to check out what else they do? Cheers, boys. More views to come on a future date. Big sip.